Hello everyone, welcome back to another Doc2 product review. In today's Doc2 product review, I'm taking a look at the Big Chief Studios third Doctor figure, part of my Season 9 theme reviews to celebrate Season 9 coming out on Blu-ray. So the way this review is going to work is I'm going to take a look at the packaging, take a look at the articulation for this figure, the detail and the accessories and my overall thoughts on this uh, figure. So without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging for this. Take a look at the packaging, so at the top of the box we've got this nice uh, foil finish to the name of the figure, so we've got the third Doctor there, a uh, six scale character replica figure, we've got the TARDIS background and the third Doctor title sort of howl around and the prototype image of the figure, we've got the BBC Doctor Who, this is a commemorative edition Big Chief Studio Collector series, the side of the box we've literally got the same again, Doctor Who, third Doctor, this nice sort of Gallifrey patterning reminiscent of the 13th Doctor sort of TARDIS floor and the back of the box we've got an image of the actual figure there and a little bio on the third Doctor uh, again once you open the box which I'm not going to do um, you're greeted with this lovely little tray um, insert which got nice little prototype images of the figure there with the various accessories and this acts as a nice little display piece because if you flip it round you have the TARDIS console room backdrop from the three Doctor so that makes for a nice little display piece if you want to display your figure with it. Uh, my third Doctor is number 444 out of a thousand. Now articulation wise this has the standard articulation for a Big Chief Studio figure where it has over 30 points of articulation so the articulation is pretty much how you would expect a human being to move so that is the articulation. Detail wise for the third Doctor figure now I made a little vow when Big Chief was starting to do these figures, if they ever did a third Doctor I would get him and let's see if he delivered because this figure took such a long time to arrive, I think he was announced in 2019 and he didn't ship until sort of the end of 2021 so two years waiting, let's figure out whether it was worth it and spoilers. I think he is. I think that this is one of Big Chief's best figures they've ever done. I think this and the first Doctor figure they've done are incredible. I think the likeness to John Pert, we'll, we'll take a closer look at this head sculpt. It feels like the master shrunk the third Doctor down with his TCE. It's just incredibly eerie how lifelike it is. It's just tremendous. So let's take a look at this detail, shall we? So if we start off with the hair sculpt, Capturing John Pertwee's magnificent bouffant of hair, I think Big Chief have done a tremendous job with a sort of light grey base coat and a white wash over it to really highlight um, that sort of sense of depth and texture to John's hair and you've got a sort of slight sort of dark wash over it to sort of give it that sort of get into the sort of cracks of the hair sculpt to show the detailing, you can see the individual strands of hair there, um, it is just tremendous, it is very lifelike and they've done a great job replicating uh, John's bouffant in all its glory, you can see that sort of slight dark wash out the front to really show the sort of individual strands there and you've even got a nice sort of fluffiness on the sideburns there, it is tremendous but if we look, take a look at the head sculpt, that is John Pertwee, that is my boy John Pertwee, yes I think they've done a great job replicating that sort of nice sort of stern authoritarian look in John's face to show you know, that, you know it's going to be alright but there's a nice sort of twinkle in his eye as well that sort of wry smile there you can just see about to see there it's just tremendous you can see the lines on the forehead I think they've done a brilliant job replicating sort of John's sort of skin but they haven't gone with the sort of traditional five o'clock shadow which most big chief studio figures suffer with but this is just tremendous you can see the lines there by the jaw the sort of little indents the little spot by his lips it is just tremendous little bags under his eyes the crow's feet it is just absolutely incredible i don't think words could sort of <laughs> say how excellent this likeness is that there aren't enough superlatives to describe how much of a brilliant likeness this is um, you know they've captured john's magnificent nose as well take a look at the inverness cloak now i think that this is replicated brilliantly as we have the nice sort of frog tassel clips there which do fasten on the actual figure but they are as you can see very tiny and very fiddly so i'm not going to attempt to do that because i think i may uh, damage it by trying to undo those little uh, frog little clasps there you can see they're done very nice that nice little embroidered finish um, you know like I say it does look like they've just miniaturized uh, the third doctor's costume down brilliantly and of course we have the little pockets there goes the sonic screwdriver we'll find that in a minute um, but we've got a nice sort of satin lining finish which is great 
and this is an actual pocket so you can store accessories in there which is tremendous and you can see the red lining which is this nice sort of satin sort of silk finish to it and of course if you fold it over like John actually has it in the show it really adds a nice little pop of colour and we have this lovely little cord finish to the top of the Inverness cloak it's nice sort of nice sort of cordy sort of velvet you know really nice and it really does pop against that sort of more matte finish to the cloak and of course the cloak is removable um, which we'll do in a minute and we can take a closer look at the actual jacket itself so let's do that so once you've removed the third doctor's inverness cloak this is what you're greeted with with the jacket now i think this is one of my negatives i have with this uh figure um is that the jacket isn't actually velvet i think if the jacket was velvet i think that it would be you know 10 out of 10 um, but I think because they've gone for this sort of faux velvet thing, which, you know, it doesn't really look like velvet. And I think if you have the cape on, which I display it with the cape on most times, um, it's, you know, kind of hides that sort of sin, but it's not really a velvet jacket. But I think the colour is pretty accurate because the a lot of people think that the third Doctor sort of season seven and sea devil jacket is a black velvet jacket. It's actually this midnight royal blue colour. Um, so yeah I think they've done a great job capturing that sort of blue tinge to the jacket because in certain light it does look black and others it looks that nice navy blue but the detailing for the jacket is brilliant as we have a nice sort of trim around the lapel of the jacket that goes all the way around there which is done very nice we have the pocket there sculpted which is a fake pocket on this and we do have fake pockets there and there which again very accurate how it was seen in the show with the pockets there and again we have the nice sort of embroidered detailing on the cuff of the jacket which is done brilliantly and again we have the nice tassel detail which is accurate how it was in the show because he only had the one fastening on his jacket and if we move to the shirt so we've got the traditional sort of white frilly ruffle shirt which is done brilliantly um you know that's done very nice nice sort of frill detail the cravat is slightly inaccurate because it's more of a sort of rounded cravat instead of sort of a more sort of first doctor style cravat but i think that's more down to the nature of the actual scale of it that they couldn't get to the the accurate cravat really but i think it's a, a close approximation it does the job really uh well so if we move down to the hands so we've got these gloved hands for the third doctor and you can see that they've done a great job replicating that sort of leather look there with nice sort of stippling detail on the actual gloves and the creasing to give it that like-like effect. It's done great and you can see how sort of the glove fits around John's hand. I think that is just done very great and again it proves the, the nice sort of lifelike detailing on this figure. The trousers, not much you can say, it's your standard sort of black trousers and the boots are where it gets a bit exciting. <laughs> um, so if I just roll John's trousers up you have his big boots um, what we see in sort of colony in space I think the first time so you can make a sort of colony in space um, third doctor variant if you take the um, cravat off and I guess claws of axos as well if you remove the cravat as well um, but yeah the boots are done great you've got this lovely sort of faux leather detail that is done great you can see all the creasing and what's really nice not the they, they needed to do this the actual zip of the actual boot works so that really cool really cool little thing that is to include so yeah that is really really nice so yeah they've done a great job replicating the third doctor's costume so yeah great likeness tremendous um detail let's take a look at more detailed things which of course are the accessories so the first load of accessories I'm going to talk about is the interchangeable hands. So the third Doctor comes with six interchangeable hands, um, which is rather cool, obviously, to all aid gripping different accessories. I've not fully mastered how to change the hands on these figures, um, because what I do, I pull out the actual peg. So if you've got any ideas on how to actually um, change the hands correctly and safely without damaging the figure, then I would really appreciate it. So if we take a look at some of the hands, so the hand detail is astonishing you know you can see the nice wrinkled detail the veins and what's lovely is they've even captured john's uh, ring which i think's a roman coin or greek coin because he found it when he was scuba diving and he made it into a ring um, so that's really nice to see that added there you can see the little detail there which is tremendous 
And again, the nice little fingernail detail. It's very eerie on how well um, they've captured this and obviously the nice little lines and wrinkles there. Um, it's tremendous. So you can see all the difference. So you've got a, sort of a karate hand, so you can have them doing some Venetian Aikido. Again, great detailing there. You can see all the sort of lines there. And again, you've got more of sort of like a gripping sort of hand for the sonic screwdriver. It's very cool. And we've got a sort of more of a relaxed palm, I guess, to hold the Metabilis crystal. Then we have this hand, which is again is slightly more sort of slightly open palm, but I guess you could sort of have him sort of pondering, have him sort of rubbing his chin. Because that's one thing, what thing what I like about the big chief figure is he can have that iconic pose of the third with his hand on hips. I really like that. Uh, I think that's one cool thing. And then we have this hand, which is designed for the gorilla gun from Day of the Dalek. So those are the interchangeable hands what come of the third away from the hand so in terms of actual accessories of course the third doctor comes with his trusty sonic screwdriver which i think big chief have done a great job replicating this in the scale so it's nice sort of deep sort of burgundy red admitter there with a slight black wash on the actual emitter itself to give that nice sort of worn and washed out look to give that sort of tarnished metal look again that's continued on the main frame of the sonic that's done grey, of course we have the nice sort of red detail there of the line to separate and of course we have the iconic yellow and black stripes on the actual Sonic itself. And again we've got a nice sort of section detailing there and of course paneling detail on the lower half of the Sonic there. So yeah, I think they've done a great job of replicating the third Doctor Sonic, that is tremendous. Um, fitting alongside the Sea Devils we have a Sea Devil gun itself which again replicated very nice, that nice sort of silver effect there nice little tarnished look to it and then of course we've got the sort of green handle of course you can have the third doctor holding that but like i said i've not mastered how to interchange the hands there so yeah very nice to have that continuing the sea devil theme we also have a magnifying glass which is an actual magnifying glass which is very cool for the scale um we can see the third doctor using this in the sea devils when he's examining the boats before he gets a uh, sort of um took to Captain Hart um, to be interrogated so yeah that's very cool to see that done in this scale so yeah it's very cool that it's an actual uh, magnifying glass so yeah that's a really neat little accessory then we have this little um, watch um, what the third doctor has I think this watch is based from Spear from Space I think it's an Omega watch um, I've not put it on the figure because obviously I wanted to show it in the review but you can see that they've done a great job of replicating uh, that very nicely all the little details of the watch the little mechanics I think that is done really nice and of course if you remove the hand um, you can put that on the third doctor's wrist so I think that's a really nice little thing to have that little nice TARDIS remote control continuing the TARDIS theme we have the TARDIS key now this is teeny tiny as you can see it's on an actual little chain which is very cool um, but you can see the little segmented details on the actual TARDIS key itself I think for the scale they've done a tremendous job and I flip it around you can see the little circuitry detail there. I think the scale for it, you know, they've done a great job capturing all that detail. Of course you can have the third doctor wearing the TARDIS key. I've not gone for that because, you know, he didn't uh, have it in the story. Next up we have an iconic third doctor prop from the era and that is of course the Metabilis Free Crystal. That is done great. Uh, you can see they've really captured this sort of scale of the crystal it is just tremendous i think that is a really uh, nice addition um, to have with the actual uh, figure itself i think it's really cool to actually have a metabolis free uh, crystal in this scale it's very cool very nice i really do like that um, and then of course we have the bessie remote control from the daemons again that's done it really nice you can see the little antenna uh, on the sculpted on the side the little wheel the little buttons all been replicated brilliantly um, yeah, tremendous to have all these little fun, quirky accessories. And I guess the last accessory, continuing the Season 9 theme, is this, the Gorilla Gun from Day of the Daleks. So you can see they have a nice sort of orange and yellow paint sculpted there to sort of give that sort of luminescence look. They've really captured the nice sort of bright silver effect to it. Uh, yeah, it's really nice, very 70s style accessory, isn't it? You can see that it fits the third Doctor great. You can see the scope. Um, yeah, have a nice little grating effect on the actual handle of the gun there. Yeah, it's just done really nice and a nice little accessory so you can have the third Doctor killing some Ogrons if you want. Uh, but that's not all, of course. We have the third Doctor stand, which we'll go over in a minute. We have a certificate of authenticity there, so that's very nice to have with the actual figure and how to 
replace the batteries on the stand. So let's talk about Here the stand. Here we have the stand for the actual figure itself. We have this adjustable um, crotch piece there, so that's cool if you want to adjust it. But you don't really need it because I think the third Doctor stands up pretty well without it. So we've got this nice sort of mirrored um, effect there. You can see, you can see me there. Hello, there I am. And you can see the Gallifreyan um, sort of number for free. And of course, it does light up if I can turn it on. There we go. You can see it there lit up, which is very cool if you want to display it lit up. So we've got a nice sort of hexagonal stand there with the number three in Gallifreyan text. So yeah, very nice little thing to have the figure display on there. You can see what it looks like there. So there we have it. That has been my review of the Big Chief Studio third Doctor figure. So what do I make of it? Well, as a massive third Doctor fan, I really do love it. I think that this is probably the best figure Big Chief Studios have done to date. I think that the tailoring isn't baggy on the figure because I think that's one big criticism I have with the Big Chief Studios figures is that the, the clothes, the tailoring doesn't really fit the figure. Um, I think the likeness for this is insane. Like, it just is a dead ringer to John Pertwee, and I think that this is just an absolute dream product for me because it's based off my favourite story, my favourite Doctor. It's just an absolute pleasure. And I think, you know, the amount of posability, of course, because it's got more articulation than a standard action figure, you know, you can put the third Doctor in some more different poses than sort of the vanilla holding Sonic you know you can have him rubbing his chin like that and of course you can do the classic sort of you know authoritative third doctor pose that he's here to save the day with his you know hands on his hips ready to save the day which is all very cool I think the accessories chosen within this are really nice to have sort of different accessories to um, aid this figure so of course you know it's nice to have the Sonic screwdriver but it's so cool to have like a little Metabolus free crystal and you know the little gorilla gun from Dare of the Daleks. It's just tremendous um, little bits of accessories, the sort of options of the hands, which is cool. I still need to figure out how to do that. So if you know how to uh, sort of change one six scale figure's hands, please let me know because I seem to take the peg out every time I try to remove the actual hand itself. I think, again, going back to the tailoring, I forgot to mention on the detail that. In the Sea Devils, John's uh, costume has some nice little embroidered detail on the actual um, sort of shirt collar. That's replicated on this, which is, again, brilliant little attention to detail. A lot of care and research has gone on to this figure, and I think that it shows. And I think waiting, you know, two years for it, it definitely was worth the wait. And it's one of my prized possessions in my Doctor Who collection. So that has been my review of the Big Chief Studios Fur Doctor. I would recommend it if you're a Fair Doctor fan because I think that it's essential. I think that it's a real cool piece to have like a little mini John Pertwee. It's it's eerily spooky how you know much of a dead ringer it is to John Pertwee. It's absolutely incredible. Um, I really do adore this. It's a, a real nice little collector's item. If you can find this figure for a good price, I highly recommend it because, like I say, I think that this is the best figure Big Chief have done. Possibly the first Doctor figure rivals it, but I think that this is definitely the, one of the best figures Big Chief have produced to date. And yes, there we go. That has been my review of the Big Chief Studio third Doctor. If you enjoyed this video, then please do like and subscribe for plenty more Doctor Who merch reviews. I'll see you next time for more Doctor Who related shenanigans. So thank you very much and goodbye.